Johnson was named to the Ray Guy Award watch list. He grew up in Australia, just like five other punters in the Big Ten. They all learned from the same man, Nathan Chapman. He developed them at Pro Kick Australia. This week, Nathan visited his students across the U.S., including Cameron here at OSU, and we asked him to show us some of the secrets of the trade. For kids in general, or for, you know, in the NFL, it's about making sure that ball comes out flat. Um, you're going to have a certain angle on the ball, but when you make contact on the ball, if you want to kick it high and long, that ball needs to be flat so that our foot can come way up under here and um, and be have a pointed toe, so your foot's pointed out flat, all right, and then that that ball hits right on the top there. And when that ball comes down flat, they can they can strike it with good strength, nice taut core, um, and then a, a, a quick leg raise. Another style of kick that Cameron does, and this is about more about trying to get the ball to spin backwards when it lands. So if, we, if Cameron's midfield, he's going to hold the ball a little bit different. And it's, it's instead of being flat and nice and high, he's going to change the angle of the ball so it's pointing down. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to, he's trying to make impact on the bottom here for it to spin backwards. It's tricky. It's about trying to manipulate the ball so it, it ends up hitting your foot on about that angle. And although it can, uh, it can hurt when you hit down there, you also need to kick it a little bit lower to the ground. I would spin it to there and... And that should end up at the same spot, just outside the 10-yard line. If I'm getting pressure from somewhere and I know I can't get it, I've got to quickly be able to change my mind and change my body angle. So from here, I might be going straight and go, oh, and kick that ball out to the side and still get a good result 